Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to analyze again the Bitcoin price because we have seen a nice pump again into our resistance. So everything is repeating here since days and weeks right now, but we are going to have a look into some very interesting charts. So make sure to be subscribed into this channel and of course also always leave a like that is very much appreciated. We want to reach a mass adoption. That's why always like those crypto videos, doesn't matter if it's mine or whoever you are following, always make sure to spread the voice and spread everything with your friends. And of course, also tune in in my Discord trading chat and also over on Twitter, Telegram and so on. All the relevant links are in the video description. Also, if you want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins with leverage, leverage I recommend you Bybit. Also here, there is currently some uh, trading events uh, going on. So definitely take part of it because you can uh, win some nice uh, prizes. And uh, this is something extra nice uh, whenever uh, you can uh, get some extra bonus and prizes uh, while you are trading. And for everyone that is watching from the US, I think that here over on Maxi Global, you should be able to trade Bitcoin and altcoins uh, uh, directly from the US without the VPN, nothing. So definitely check out Maxi Global because this is very, very important. It's one of the biggest exchanges out there. I know that many of you are trading over there as well. Here we also have um, zero uh, percent maker fees. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that. And now, guys, let's dive here first into the Bitcoin chart here in the four hour time frame, because uh, the long position that I opened up down here, if you're trading with me uh, over on Telegram, I have announced when I opened up this uh, trade. And uh, by now, of course, uh, I got stopped out because I'm always uh, um, adjusting my stop loss uh, if um, the price uh, is uh, pumping and by now, of course, since we have this consolidation phase again, right below our main resistance at $38,400, uh, I got stopped out and right now I'm waiting for the next uh, trade. Of course, you can also short Bitcoin whenever we get those um, uh, resistances, those rejections up there. We, you can also short, of course, you can also make money on the way to the downside, but I always recommend to only look out for good long positions. This is, of course, no financial advice, just what I am doing because uh, shorting Bitcoin is like staring for too long into the sun. Sooner or later, you will get blind uh, and um, and it will hurt you. That's why make always sure to look out for good long positions because uh, on the way to the upside, there are no limits, but on the way to the downside, we can just go down to zero. That's it. So that's why always look out for some nice longs. And of course, like that, you also support the price because you're longing and not shorting. But anyway, if you also want to make some money on the way to the downside, you can, of course, also short. But uh, this is not what I am doing. So currently I'm waiting here a little bit on the sideline. Whenever we are looking um, uh, here a bit uh, in, more into a consolidation phase and breakout phase, I like to relax a little bit and uh, look into some other uh, crypto stuff. For example, you can also invest into some uh, uh, pre-sales, you find them all here in the video descriptions. The newest one is the Bitcoin ETF, the eTukTuk and also the Bitcoin Mindtrix one. I hope that they are going to launch soon because uh, it has been a long time since one of those uh, pre-sales has launched. So there often we do some money as soon as they get uh, uh, listed on exchanges. So let's wait and see what will happen there. Nothing new over there, at least for the moment. But uh, if we have a look what is going on, for example, into some uh, crypto stocks like Marathon or Riot platforms, those are the so mining companies, uh, Bitcoin mining companies, not gold mining companies. You can see that they have um, they have gotten a nice rally here in the last couple of days and they are pumping like crazy since days. Also Coinbase, look at that. Even today, it looks like that they go that they are going to open up in green. Remember, guys, down here in this region down here, uh, I told you that I'm going to buy some um, some Coinbase stocks because remember we had this resistance trend line here. If we switch over into the lines chart, you can see here a clear resistance trend line. We can actually adjust it a little bit. It's a bit offset. I don't know why. I hope we are in Lux Gate. Let me recheck that. Yes. 
So what we got here is the chart of Coinbase and I, got, I told you down here guys that as soon as we are breaking this resistance trend line I'm going to buy more Coinbase stocks. I just bought Coinbase since day one here. I bought right at day one as soon as they launched. This was like the really top of this stock so far and I told you guys that even though there's a very very high risk that we will um, immediately uh, have a bigger corrective phase once a, a Coinbase is launched I just want to buy some stocks from day one on. And then let's see what will happen. And down here, I told you again at around $53 that as soon as we are breaking this resistance that I'm going to buy way, way more Coinbase stocks is what I did. And we had at that time a potential breakout target from these, uh, I don't call it a falling wedge because it's just um, more like a bear market and that's it. But uh, here we formed like an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Yeah, more like this with a neckline over here at $80 and the breakout target would have been up here at $204. This target is still not yet matched, but there is actually a even better head and shoulders pattern that is forming in my opinion. And this one is over here. If we do this, if the shoulder is has that size here, up to this one here, then the neckline is way, way higher. You can see that also here we have a neckline because here we had here a touch point and here a touch point. So that means that if this is the real head and shoulders pattern, the inverse head and shoulders pattern, then the breakout target from this pattern over here would be up here at $380. So basically uh, create a new all time high if we would fulfill this target. That doesn't mean that we have from here on, because we are breaking now this, uh, this neckline here, immediately pump towards this price level. No, it is possible that at this the 0.618 line, we're at $144, we're getting rejected, come back down, retest the new support, move on towards the next FIB line at $215, then come back down towards $150 and so on. This would be a textbook um, development of uh, or the rise of Coinbase to the new all time highs. This is of course possible, but if things are getting crazy, then of course we would see something like that. But this is not what I'm expecting, but just but I'm just telling you that Coinbase is looking extremely bullish here for the next coming weeks and months as well, especially since Coinbase is going to be the Coinbase is going to be the custody for all the Bitcoin um, or at least for most of them, probably of all the big companies um, that are now filing for an ETF like BlackRock. Uh, Vanek and so on. There are many out there, but I think the, the main one is just BlackRock and and most likely they're all getting approved at the same time in my opinion and that's why coinbase is going to be like a market leader and i guess that a lot of retailers or even institutions are currently front running the market and expecting that coinbase also will explode like crazy if bitcoin um, continues to rally and of course if though even if just those bitcoin etfs are getting approved i think that even that is enough uh, to have here a massive run-up that's why it's going to be very, very, very interesting to see what will happen here also with Coinbase. And I'm, I'm also updating you whenever I'm taking action here on Coinbase, because I'm always sharing with you guys whenever I'm buying and selling Bitcoin or altcoins or whatever, uh, just in case that there is a crash to then rebuy more Bitcoin. And I'm also going to keep you updated whenever I'm taking action with Coinbase as well. But I definitely wouldn't take profits on on Coinbase as long as I'm expecting here for Bitcoin to reach a 40 to 50K area. Because as long as I'm expecting that Bitcoin will go higher, there is no need to sell any kind of those uh, crypto stocks that are also looking bullish in theory and should profit whenever the Bitcoin price is going higher. Even G uh, GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, is pumping like crazy and I told you guys that up here even though we have some warning signs that we are overbought also here on the spot chart we are about to get a sell signal the 20 weekly moving average is only down here at thirty thousand dollars currently I think it's more risky to sell right now and hoping for thirty thousand dollars to rebuy back in here than just hodling and hope that we're just going straight up towards 40 to 50k instead that we are having that correction down towards 30k i think that 30 to 20k are still in the cards before the next bitcoin halving but until then we have like almost half a year time and time wise we can rally within one month up towards 40 to 50k if things are getting crazy and for the next coming two to three months go maybe into a corrective phase or just consolidate before then we gear up for the next big move 
So time wise, we're still perfectly in the cards to see 40 to 50K before any kind of bigger corrective phase, even though of course we are in very uh, overbought condition already, but since uh, uh, everyone is so bullish and everything is pumping like crazy, especially looking at some, uh, even looking at NASDAQ and comparing also the US dollar index to uh, to all kind of assets against the US dollar index, we should be extremely bullish. Doesn't matter if it's a stock or or if it's Bitcoin or an altcoin. Doesn't matter as long as the US dollar index is falling and the markets are pumping like crazy. We should be very very bullish. At some point, a correction will start, but in my opinion, not yet. At least for Bitcoin, I still expect that we're gonna reach here. The top side of the Calder channels at 42k and enter into this trading zone between the 0.618 and 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level, so between 40 to 50 thousand dollars. Because looking, for example, into Nasdaq, here we are already um, at the top side of the Calder channels. We are very close to it. We are even close to create here new all-time highs. Then, if we have a look, uh, for example, into GBTC, here also we are testing now the top side of the Calder channels in the monthly time frame and here we are already trading between those two Fibonacci retracement levels even here with this bear market rally you can see that we came and touched the top side of the Kelvin channels in the monthly time frame and this is what we're doing here right now as well so that's why it's going to be very very interesting to see if Bitcoin is also coming up here to finally test the top side of the Kelvin channels which is at 42k and that's why I told you guys that if I would take profits then only if we would reach here this area here and we are then starting to consolidate or seeing some signs of a potential uh, local top for Bitcoin because then it would make sense that before we continue to head higher that we maybe have one more last uh, correction here until the, the next Bitcoin halving and this is taking probably weeks and months and and this could be also very boring time before then we gear up for that um, bull run towards new all-time highs but uh, until then i think that 40 to 50k are very much uh, likely here for bitcoin and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now i have uh, to do some stuff today maybe if something crazy is going on later on i'm going to do an update video i'm also planning maybe to do um a paprika coin uh, mining tutorial because i know that there are many miners out there and currently we are like in no man's land since ethereum is not anymore mineable and by the way ethereum is still not looking too good i, I was expecting here two thousand three hundred dollars very soon for ethereum we are still not there i don't know what is going on with ethereum but i think that sooner or later also ethereum I will not have any more that performance like we have seen it in the past years because it's just not any more that interesting as before in my opinion before it was like the main mining thing ethereum since they switched to proof of stake in my opinion they have lost everything and that's why i'm also looking out for some other mineable coins that has a lot of upside potential for example this one clor ai or xna there are so many that are looking much better and uh, yeah i'm basically waiting here on the sideline um also to mine uh, some some tokens or some coins like those two and also paprika coin which is still not listed on main exchanges and that's why i'm planning to do all the tutorial there let me know in the comment section if you're interested in such a um, um a mining uh, tutorial especially if you're still mining with some gpus let me know that but otherwise that's it for now guys let's wait and see what will happen i definitely uh, gonna do some update videos let's wait and see i still have to unpack a lot of stuff from black friday also, I'm, I'm um, changing a little bit of stuff here in my equipment. Uh, also, the microphone I'm going to change. I hope that, it, that it's going to fit into my equipment and that the quality will be better at the end. Uh, let's wait and see. But for now, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Be subscribed. Bye for now.